Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we are back with part two of our sponsored series looking at the multi-camera capabilities of the Mevo camera. And in our last video, we unboxed the three pack of these cameras, connected them to our Wi-Fi, got my iPad booted up here and we were able to do a multi-camera shoot live to YouTube and record at the same time using nothing but these cameras and this iPad. It is very quick and easy to get up and running with one of these things. But what if you wanted to connect up to OBS or to Zoom or to Google Meets using a PC? Well, you can do that as well with the webcam feature where the output of our Mevo multi-camera app here will go to a computer locally on your network versus YouTube and then that computer can stream the video out. And it's very easy to get this feature working too. So in this video, we're gonna look at the webcam feature and attach it to a few applications on this PC that's on the desk with me. Now, I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship from Logitech and they reviewed and approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded for accuracy. So let's get into it now. And we're gonna start by connecting this iPad's multicam output to Zoom. Let's get to it. Now the webcam feature works a lot like how things work when you're streaming directly to YouTube or Twitch or one of the other streaming providers from your mobile device. Every time you tap on a camera here, the viewers on Zoom or whatever app you're connecting with on the PC will see those camera switches so you can very quickly change angles without having to uh, configure your Zoom client to go to a different camera. And we're also going to be able to get audio out of here too. Now the way to get this going is to click on this icon next to the record button. Now right now the icon for me says beta, but at some point this feature will be out of beta, so that icon might look a little different, but I would imagine it'll be in the same place in the future. And this of course is the webcam output button. So we're gonna click on that. And what it's going to ask us to do is get a client downloaded to the PC that we're going to be streaming from. So we're gonna click on get started here and you're going to have the option to choose a client for the Mac or for Windows. And we're gonna start on a Windows PC, but I will show you how the Mac works a little later in the video. And you're gonna get an option here to share a download link. And if you tap on that, you can send yourself a text message or an email with that link, and then you can go to the PC and download the client because that client has to be running on the PC for it to find the output from your iPad on the network. So what I'm gonna do now is get that app installed on my PC, and when it's done, we'll pick up the process from there. All right, so we have the Windows app installed right now, but before we jump back to my Windows PC, I'm just gonna click Next here because they give you a really useful tip for Windows users on the app here when you get to this last stage, because this is gonna show you where you need to look for the app once it's installed on the Windows side, and we'll take a look at what it looks like on the Mac in a minute. Now, if we jump over to my Windows desktop here, you can see we don't see anything Mevo related until we look at the lower right-hand corner of the screen and we bring our mouse pointer over to show hidden icons. And in this little area here, you'll see the Mevo wireless webcam beta. And that's what we're going to right click on in a second, but I'm just gonna click done here to go back to our multi-camera switcher. And I'm going to right click on that Mevo icon. And you can see here we have options to connect to our Mevo cameras directly for a single camera, or I can connect to the iPad and get its multi-camera output. So I'm going to click on multi-cam because that's the subject of our video today. And when I do that, the window will disappear, but check out my iPad now. That icon is lit up red to indicate that it is now sending video to the computer and I can disconnect the computer by tapping on that icon or by going back into our uh, little hidden menu here and selecting the camera off there. But of course, we want to actually see how this works, so we're gonna leave everything connected. So I'm gonna go zoom back out here, and now I'm going to zoom into Zoom and take a look and see if we can get everything connected here. Now inside of Zoom or other applications that use a webcam, this is going to show up like a webcam would. Let's take a look and see how it looks here in Zoom. I'm gonna go over to video, and when I select video, you can see right now it's defaulting to the webcam that's on this laptop. What we're gonna do is select the Mevo here, and now you can see we're getting the output of the Mevo. 
Now, one thing that I like to do is turn off mirror my video so everything is in the right orientation. And as I switch between camera angles here, let me give you another view, uh, you'll see that the image changes in real time here on Zoom as I tap on different camera angles, which is pretty useful. Now on the Mac, the Mevo app will appear at the top of the screen after you install the software. And then of course you just need to select your multicam like we did on the Windows side and everything will work pretty much the same. So if we go into Zoom here, as you'll see my webcam is the default from the computer, but then I can select the multicam here and get up and running with that. And then if we go over to audio, we can also have our microphone come from the Mevo audio output. And this is where things get interesting because we have a full on audio mixer here as part of this app. And we could even bring in high quality external microphones into the mix, which we'll demo in an upcoming video. And what I could even do is maybe bring in some audio from my yard here because I have a camera outside right now, why not? And I can just put this down a little bit, get some nice natural sound of the outdoors along with uh, my video here if I wanted to. And you can kind of think about some of the other neat things you can do because each of these Mevo cameras has a microphone on it. So there's a lot to think about insofar as audio is concerned. But you also have a lot of control over how loud the mics are. You can really tweak things and get it to where you want to be. And I think what I'm going to do now is just start a Zoom call here just to show you what this looks like. So we're just going to do a quick meeting here and I'll join with my computer audio and I'll make this go full screen and I'll pull up our uh, iPad here so you can see how all this works. So as we're talking about something, I can look in the camera and say, yeah, we're going to talk about this keyboard today, everybody. And rather than have to go down to the icon and select the camera, I can just tap on my iPad and now I've got uh, an ability to very quickly switch back and forth here on a Zoom call. And then I could say, hey, check out the stuff in my backyard. And then I can come back to me and say, hey, here I am again, you know, giving you some more information. Now let's take a look and see how this keyboard works. And you get the idea as to just how much more efficient it is to switch cameras using this setup versus having to uh, go into Zoom and change the webcam every time you want to change a view. And of course, all of the other features that you're accustomed to on Zoom and other things like it will work. So you can bring in your PowerPoint presentations and everything else using the existing Zoom interface, but change the camera angles on your iPad. And as you'll see later in the series, there's a lot of other stuff that you can do like picture in picture and graphics that you can't do on Zoom very easily. And so as we're going through the rest of the series, everything we do in output will be able to go through Zoom. Let's take a look at a few other things. Now this of course will work with other applications that support webcams like OBS or Streamlabs that I'm running here. And if I go over to my camera selection list here and select Mevo, you can see that it's able to bring in my Mevo's video. But you'll notice that we're only getting 480p at the moment. And in some cases, you're going to have to manually select the resolution like I'm gonna do here in Streamlabs. So what I'm gonna do is go to a custom resolution and now that we're at 1080p, you can see that we're filling up the screen here and getting a 1080p signal across the network. And I'm gonna close that. And now if I switch cameras here on my Mevo app, you can see that we're able to switch our camera positions and get a full 1080p resolution. You will also on the app here, see what resolution you are sending to the webcam app on the PC. And as you can see here, our video quality is coming in at 1080p. So that's how you can connect the multicam app as a webcam to popular PC applications like Zoom. Pretty much anything that supports a webcam is going to work with this. And you can see just how quickly you can switch between camera angles using the multicam app versus having to futz around with conferencing software interfaces to do it. Additionally, while you are bringing that webcam video over, you can record locally onto your phone or tablet. So right now I have it set up to record at 1080p, and it's going to basically take a high quality version of what I'm sending to Zoom right now and also drop it onto my iPad so I can send that out later on if I wanted to to the people I was talking to. You cannot, though, live stream at the same time you're using the webcam version here. So you do have to disconnect from the PC before you 
uh, go out and stream to YouTube or Twitch, at least from the app here at the moment. That is going to do it for this look at this feature. But in the next video, we're going to dive deep into some more things you can do with this, including adding graphics, bringing in external audio, and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So stay tuned. More to come on the Mevo Multicam app. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching, and I want to thank Logitech for their support of the channel. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Brian Parker, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Baby Metal Thoughts God, Tom Albrecht, Amda Brown, Matt Zagaya, and Tech Time with Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.